It's a bit difficult to keep in touch with him in this conference because <laughs> not everybody, everybody here wants to talk to him. He's the man of the of the day of the conference. <laughs> He's Guillaume Lafosse. Hello, Guillaume, again. Hello. Pleased to see you again yeah. after a Greek. Yeah, told. like two two months ago yeah. or something like. That. <laughs> so, uh, Guillaume, um, my first question, my first question is, um, what do you think about the Groovy's future? Because you have just taken part of this mm -hmm. open discussion, so. Yeah. What do you think it's Groovy's future? It's a bright future. <laughs> yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> oh, obviously. Yeah, no, uh, seriously, Groovy's been used more and more, downloaded more and more. So I can only see it uh, continuing growing li like that. And it's been uh, even quite surprising in the sense that uh, I, I didn't think it would continue growing. It, it was already pretty, pretty successful, but to continue growing to at that rate Uh, we, we might be getting up to 20 million downloads uh, at the end of the year compared to 12 something uh, last year uh, if we continue on that trend obviously uh, so it's a uh, it's still surprising me that we are managing to be uh, that that successful although there there isn't that much you know buzz in the community in the java ecosystem uh, ab about that but uh, yeah there are many drivers for that, the fact that we joined the Apache Software Foundation, I think it's been a, a, a clear signal to the, the Java ecosystem and, and its users uh, that Guru is here for the long term, that it's uh, continuing evolving, etc. So I think that's, that makes sense, but uh, it's always a, a surprise and a big reward to see that the, there's a strong community and uh, happy users of uh, Groovy all around. You mentioned before Apache Foundation. Yeah. Uh, you are the chair of the mm -hmm. Apache Foundation for Groovy, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know if um, is any difference uh, if someone um, you know contributes as to an open source project right. uh, as a hobby or as a yeah. paid committer. Do you think it's a difference? Yeah, obviously the, the big difference is usually uh, the time that you can commit to the project. So compared to before when uh, a few of us were full time, Obviously now it's just a, a few hours here and there, so uh, it won't evolve at the same pace, obviously. That's the, the big difference. There's, I would say, perhaps one, uh, if not an advantage, at, le at least a, a little positive side in that when you have uh, paid full-time uh, contributors or committers on a project, uh, there are actually two different paces going on. So there's the one from the guys going full speed and adding things and etc. And the ones who are doing that as a hobby, it's sometimes tough to follow what's going on in the project because they are not in the loop, because they might be doing something else, you know, uh, their jobs, their family, etc. So sometimes it's difficult to just follow what's going on in the project. So at least now we are back at, everybody's at the same level. So it's a little positive sign. But uh, what's nice uh, is that over the years, uh, Groovy's always had new fresh blood coming in. And uh, lately, uh, they, they, we, we got um, two, three more uh, new committers joining the project and who've, who've been there to stabilize, improve, fix bugs, etc. And I think it's also a good thing for Groovy to, e even if it's not... Uh, Yeah, it's a slowdown in terms of uh, big new features, but at least it's a positive thing for stabilizing the language, fixing more bugs rather than introducing yet more new big cool features. Because as you add even more and more and more new features, uh, the, the chance that the feature collide and uh, introduce new issues is uh, obviously uh, bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a good thing to slow down a little bit, fix things, and uh, stabilize things, I think. By the way, haven't said it before, con congratulations on your new job. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, next week I'll be joining Google as a developer advocate for the Google Cloud Platform. And I'm uh, obviously very uh, excited about this idea of joining them. And uh, pe people, I, at least from the, the Groovy community, will remember uh, Gaelic, which is a, a small framework that I created for Google App Engine, uh, so that people could run Groovy applications on Google App Engine. And since then, that was in 2000. And I don't remember, eight, nine, or something like that. So quite a long time ago already. And since then, I've really, I've always been a big fan of what Google's been doing in this uh, field. And they've, they've added lots of new stuff, Google Container Engine, uh, their contribution to open source with uh, Kubernetes. Yeah. 
Uh, I mean, there, there's so much stuff, uh, cool stuff that they're doing. So I'm really, really exciting to see, excited to see what's, uh, well, yeah, what's, what's coming up there and uh, if I can contribute something interesting. Okay, so loads of luck on this new adventure. Thank you. Thank you. And see you around the conference. Thanks. Thanks a lot.